social equity licensee, what can we do to improve these programs? Like, what is your thought process on what we can do, not only from like a regulation, a licensing standpoint, when I ask other social equity folks, like, what can we do? Like, what can we like do better? Because like, for me, just handing out a program seems more like charity. Like, is there anything that like I can truly be doing to really help these folks and help them move forward? I know a really big problem is the lack of funding, the lack of capital, um, how investors and people like talk down or look down on social equity folks thinking they don't have the education or the resources or anything else because of their background and why they're social equity. Like it's just so counterproductive all in itself. And it's just it just feels like this endless circle and there's no like true answers or maybe there are true answers. We just haven't implemented those true answers to actually move our industry forward and make sure that the backs of this industry was built off of with the drug war, that they can actually have a seat at the table and be successful. Absolutely. And I believe that an example of what can be done is what you are doing. Oh, thank you. Right. Okay. What you are doing. Right. And it's that simple. What am I doing? Okay, at every level, lead with integrity, rather be your politician, uh, multimillionaire, first to the market, have the resources, wherewithal and understanding, and you took advantage of the time, or you're the newly restored, expunged charges, have the acumen looking to be a butt tender, because that all, all your options are, or you're the advocate, the lobbyist, you name it, right? At each individual level, do what you can do with integrity. That is the answer, right? So we know that it's putting individuals and in opportunities and some individuals at a disadvantage. And we want to point fingers. Well, leaders need to run for these positions that have the power to do what right looks like, right? Okay, we got dirtbags in places that dirtbags don't need to be, and they attract other dirt right. bags. That's what dirt does. Right. <laughs> so get up and do whatever you can do to overcome that mound of dirt, understanding that as dirt begins, so shall it end. Understanding that dirt is what is why we exist, is why the flower exists, because we're all connected. So just as bad as everything we want to talk about exists, the only thing that we can do to fix it is to be intentional about what we're doing and create opportunities for people that are with intention that is what it says it is yeah okay so we have uh obligation in the application to put our community engagement plan and what we're going to do and how we're going to impact these areas that were disproportionately impacted by the war on drugs but there's no accountability to mm -hmm. that hey uh three-year-old i'm just going to throw Cheerios all over the floor and leave the room and close the door. I want you to clean them up and throw them in the trash for me. Don't eat any. Don't stick any in your nose and in your ears. <laughs> Go figure it out. But you got Cheerios. Yeah. Okay, so like, let's be real. Okay, so at each individual level, lead with integrity. If you have the resources, use your resources to be restorative. You don't have to give anybody anything of financial means, but put them at an opportunity to take advantage of, or, hey, bud, you need to wake up on time. You gotta get here to get the opportunity. Don't give any handouts, but if you have individuals that just didn't have the resources or had a lot of obstacles that were put in place to prevent them from having opportunities in the first place, acknowledge that and say, hey, I got a job training program and I am seeking out expunged cannabis people that shouldn't have never happened in the first place because cannabis wasn't even illegal until 1937 because of systematic racism and oppression. Yeah. It was the second most used pharmaceutical yeah. in American pharmacopoeia, right? It was first used in 2737 BC by an Asian emperor to 
help with flatulence. Yeah. And I think cannabis evolved with humans. I think when you follow like the cannabis plant and like how humans evolved, like cannabis moved with humans, like through our entire all evolution. All connected. Like... All connected. If, 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 if I don't snap anything else, it's all connected. Yeah. My success now is predicated on your success. Yeah.